here from JustAskKim.com and today we're going to take a look at how to do a reverse image search using a website known as 10i. Now in a prior video I covered how to use the Google reverse image search. 10i is an alternative to that and sometimes these two services produce different results. So I wanted to cover both of them. In this video we'll talk about 10i, look for the other video for Google reverse image search. Now if you followed the other video you saw that I already downloaded the images in question. And what I did was I went into my own blog and I pulled some images local and I saved those to my local computer. And what we're going to do is to use this uploader. You can use the image address, but then it tries to pull everything on the page and it's kind of hit or miss. So I really like the uploader to be sure that it's finding exactly what I want it to find. So I'm going to scroll down here real quick and look for this. Um, where was this? I don't always meme. This is the I don't always meme um, from the most interesting guy in the world. And so it's searching real quick and it pulls that up and I can see there's 1.5k results several search several billion times a huge amount of returns here okay and what you see is that we have alternatives we have know your meme which is a really useful source they are feeling that this deviant art may have been the original let's see what kind of date we got on this let's see what we got Do we have a date no, that's a, you got new February, or there we go, 2013. There's no way that's the original image. I know your meme is going to take you back. You know, I mean, there were from 2010. This is a very old meme. This is used all over the place. I feel that the Google image or reverse image search was a better return on this one. So let's go back or let's use this and see what else we find. And we'll grab, where was that Google Facebook or the Facebook logo? We got the Facebook group logo. So this is the official group image from Facebook, an image they used to use. They don't use this as much anymore, but this used to be the official. And here we found 57 results. They come up with Icon Guide. Let's see what Icon Guide has to say. We will see here that we got nothing useful. Come on down, we got other people use whoops other people using this other people using this I have no return on the facebook.com slash about slash uh, groups so basically this did not return me the original source of this image now I can tell that this image is in use all over the place and that's all right this image is bound under the Facebook image use rights and so for that you know you have to stay within their terms so let's grab one more and so the other one I had, where were those dice? I had these dice I purchased from 123rf.com and I use these in my blog post. And then I come down and they were recently crawled here. I would imagine that this was not the image creator. Let's see what we get. No, but it is a source of buying the image. Okay, so it is a stock photo. So basically what you can tell from this is that it was a stock photo. This is not where I bought it from, but many artists upload their image to all the stock photo sites. So cool. We got an idea that this was a stock photo. This one actually did a little better than the Google reverse image search. Oh, and here we go. Here's my 123rf.com. This is actually where I purchased it. So this result for this image was actually better than we did with Google. Whoops. Yeah, don't do that. I lost my page there. Okay, so you get a feel for the different two searches, the different way you can approach it, and the different bit of data it gives you. Oftentimes, if you really want to delve into a particular image, you're going to need to use both. And so you'll want to check out that other video as well. Hope this tutorial helped you understand how to use 10i for reverse image search. Mm -hmm.